my sassy lassies. Today I'm going to show you this Irish Dance Performance Makeup Look. This is definitely more dramatic than my original Irish Dance makeup, so if you're just learning to put on stage makeup, click right on over here to see my original video. However, this is going to be perfect for all of our St. Patrick's Day shows, so if you're looking for a more amplified look for either performances or competition, then this is perfect for you. I also chose to include three different lip options at the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned to see exactly what those are. So, I guess it's time to get jiggy with it. <laughs> Today I'm going to start with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This stuff smells absolutely amazing. I know it sounds like a kind of a weird comment to make about a bronzer, but it smells like chocolate and that's because there's actual cocoa in it. And because of that, it creates a nice soft brown tone instead of an orange tone, which makes it perfect for contouring. So I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm going to place this into the hollows of my cheekbones and also down both sides of my nose. And if I didn't have bangs, I would bring this also up along my hairline. This creates a nice soft contoured look that also bronzes up my face. Next, especially when I know I'm going to be putting in a lot of hard work that day, I want to make sure that my eyeshadows go nowhere. So today I'm going to use two separate eyeshadow primers. The first is Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this is going to keep oily eyelids at bay and make sure that my shadows don't crease. Then I'm going to follow it up with Max Paintedly Paint Pot, and this is going to create a nice neutral base for all of my eyeshadows later on, and also get rid of any discoloration on my eyelids, especially those little capillaries that like to show through. Next, I'm going to grab my Lorac Pro Palette. This is very well loved, therefore I cannot clean it off. However, I did get this at Kohl's and it is one of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to use Sephora's flat eyeshadow brush and dip it into the color cream, place it all over my lid to really make sure that my primers all stay in place and set them very, very well. Then I'm going to use my new Morphe 412 brush and I'm going to dip it into the color taupe and work it in windshield wiper motions across my crease and all also connect it to the outer corner of my eye. Just to ensure that no harsh lines were created, I sometimes like to go over eyeshadows with my finger to make sure that they stay soft and blended. Then I'm going to pick up my Morphe M322 brush and I'm going to dip it into the color Sable. Then I'm going to create the same shape I just did with taupe, except this one is going to be a little bit lower and closer to the inner portion of my eye. Essentially, these two colors nest into each other. Once you've done a sufficient amount of blending with the smaller brush, and then I'm going to pick up a Sigma blender brush and I'm going to really soften out the top edge and also blend together the two colors where they meet in the middle. Next, I'm going to pick up a pencil brush and dip it into the color taupe. I'm going to sweep this along my lower lash line, working it back and forth, connecting it to the upper eyeshadow colors, but also dragging it just enough forward to where it avoids my inner corner. Always use a blender brush to soften it out. 
Then I'm going to also dip that same pencil brush into the color Sable and place this right along just the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm going to drag it right along my lower lash line and create a nice soft smoky effect. Then I'm going to pick up my Sigma E25 brush, dip it into the color taupe once more, and quickly blend this along my lower lash line, really smoking out that bottom line. Then taking that same pencil brush, dipping it back into Sable, I'm then going to create a third layer of eyeshadow. This is the innermost part of that nest that I was talking about. So first it was taupe, then it came into Sable, then with the pencil brush you get a more concentrated color of Sable. Then I'm going to pick up my Sigma E25 brush again, dip it back into taupe, and then I'm going to sweep this along my entire eyeshadow look. This will really soften it and also keep it very blended. Then I'm going to pick up a different pencil brush, this I save for just light tone shades, and I'm going to dip it into the color white. I'm going to place it along my brow bone and then soften it out with a blender brush. Then I'm going to dip it back into that same color and place this on the inner corners of my eyes to really give a nice bright awake effect. Then I'm going to dip my finger into the color gold and place this right along my lids. This will make sure that that color is very highly pigmented and I'm actually gonna show you a trick to make it even higher, highly, more highly pigmented in just a second. Then using the same blender brush as before, I'm going to blend the gold into the darker shades above to keep it soft and blended. Then I actually dampened my finger, placed it into gold, and then when I put the shadow onto my lid, it created a nice rich foiled look, which is exactly what I was going for. Onto eyeliner, I'm going to use Sephora's angled liner brush. This is great and it creates a nice thin line, and I'm going to dip it into Max Fluid Line in the color Black Track. If you're looking for a nice gel liner that dries quickly but also stays very richly pigmented, this is it. So I placed this on the outer two thirds of my eye creating a small wing. Then I'm going to pick up my Maybelline Define Line in the color Ebony Black and I'm going to use this to tight line both my upper waterline and my lower waterline. This looks a little weird but it does create a nice defined look. Then I'm going to use my Rimmel London Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara. This is a great wet formula and it really defines your lashes. So I'm going to place one coat on the upper lashes and a couple coats on the lower lashes. Then I'm going to use my Revlon Precision Eyelash Glue to apply my my Ardell Wispy Lashes. These lashes are absolutely incredible. They're somehow fluffy and dramatic and natural all at the same time. I don't know how Ardell did it, but they're the perfect lashes. You could say they make a difference. And I'm going to be using my MAC Peachy Keen Blush and my Bare Essentials Flawless Face Brush. I'm going to place the blush right at the back near my hairline and bring it forward along my cheekbones. This is the perfect color for a nice springtime natural glow. Then I'm going to use whatever foundation brush I used that day to go over my blush to make sure that it's very well blended and not too strong. Then I'm going to use my Hard Candy Highlighter in the color Tiki, and I'm going to use my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush to bring this right along the tops of my cheekbones. And if you want to, I like to place it along the apples of my cheeks to really bring forward my cheekbones. Then I'm also going to place it down the bridge of my nose, and then I'm going to take that same blush and go over it just one more time to make sure that the highlighter didn't take away any of the color. For the first of my two nude lip options, this is NYX in the color Pops. This is perfect for a younger dancer. Next, I'm going to use Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the color Melted Chihuahua. This is perfect if you're a little bit older or just looking for a deeper tone. This is a nice matte lipstick that doesn't annoy your lips by making them feel dry or cracky. So this is absolutely gorgeous for a nice nude tone. I will show you the other two lip options in a moment, but now that my lash glue has dried, I'm going to share with you a little secret. This is Stila's Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and it's a great marker tip. So what I'm going to do with this is place this right along my lash line to make sure that my lashes, my false lashes, blend with my natural lashes. This is a great, great tip if you struggle with false lashes. Then I'm going to set everything with NYX's Matte setting spray. This is a great mist, that's why I showed you that close up. It really does work. Now on to my other two lip options. This is Max Pro Longwear Lip Glass in the color Forever Rose. This is a perfect color if you're looking for something that's a little bit more of a pop or a nice springtime glow, or if you're just looking for something that's not a matte lipstick that is definitely a gloss.
Now, if you're looking for the perfect red, this is it. This is NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the color Cruella. I can tell you that this lasts so, so long on me. And what's great about this is that it's a velvet matte, which means that the matte part of it is going to make sure that the lipstick stays on your lips for a very long time, but the velvetiness of it creates a nice sheen and it makes sure that your lips stay moisturized. Okay, Rinka girls, here is your complete look. I am so excited because the entire month of March I'm going to be posting only Irish dance themed videos. So if you don't want to miss out, please click right on over there to subscribe to my channel. In fact, I will also link my original Irish dance makeup look and my Kira Sexton makeup tutorial right down there, so be sure to check those out. Alright my darlings, I love you all dearly and I will see you next Friday in my new Irish dance themed video. Slancha!